Welcome to Larry's RV Living. And this time uh, we had a water heater leak. So this is a manufacturer defect on the welding seam of the hot water tank. I have water spraying out of the tank. So uh, the way I discovered that basically is there was water coming out on the ground just below the tank. And so I did a little bit of investigating and sure enough, the water heater uh, tank itself was leaking and on a seam. Now Suburban was kind enough and within the warranty period, of course, to send me out a new one. Um, but I'm having a, I have to have a licensed um, RV technician actually put the tank in and hook it back up. I took it out and uh, right now it's just sitting in there, but I'll show you uh, how you get to it and uh, what you need to do. And then um, we'll have him put it back in just because of the gas line and the electrical. So something I could do, but Suburban wouldn't warranty it unless I have a, a licensed person do it. Um, so he'll be out here in a little bit, but I want to show you how to access that uh, water heater uh, tank. All right. So here's the access to the water heater. And across the way here, we have the storage area itself. Now to access that hot water tank, you have to take off these side panels in this storage area, which I'm going to do. I have to take those off. There's some screws. Um, there you go, square head uh, screws that you just take off and get access back there. But for now, I will show you how to take this access, access panel off and get that hot water tank out of there. I've already done it, so I've taken off the silicone around the, around the outside of the flange, um, but you'll see how to do it once, I, uh, once you see me do it. So here we go, I'm just going to go ahead and take this off, turn that, and then I just kind of lift it, just like that, and uh, I'm going to set this down. Now I've already disconnected the gas line, like I said, the water lines from the inside, but this flange actually has a bunch of silicone in here and here and then on the outside. I just take, took a little bit of a utility knife without you know, trying to be very careful not to scratch anything. And then I got it loose. So now I should be able to pop this off, you see, just like that. And there it is. And then I'm going to set this out of the way. Now, after this, um, like I said, I have everything on the inside disconnected. So I should be able to just pull that out. And I think it is loose. But I've got to disconnect a few things on the inside that I connected up just to uh, make it the RV operational um, so that water doesn't square it out uh, in the meantime. But I'll get started on that. So I did want to show you that when Forest River made this Sandpiper RV, when you take off those side panels to access the uh, water tank, or and even your furnace for that matter, and some other things that they did make it so that the wires you could take off the panel and still not have to worry about um, the outlet and the cable. They left enough wire in there so that um, it can be pulled away without disconnecting all of that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll reverse the screen here and we'll take a look at that as I pull it away. There you go. So that's the panel. I've already taken off those in the back. They're just some, um, like I said, square head screws. Um, but then you just pull this, and I think I should be able to pull it from the top, like that, you see. Now if you look behind here, and as I pull it away, you see those wires are long enough um, to pull it away and lean it up against you know, that way you can access that whole area. You see the furnace uh, back in there. On the other side of that, on mine, is the, is the uh, water heater. 
So these get these are long enough just to stay connected. And I just wanted to show you that. So just another reminder, um, before you take out the hot water tank, um, the water heater, that you'll want to drain the water water heater. There's a plug at the bottom of the area I'll show you. And then also when you shut off the valve to the water to the RV or coach or whatever you're working on, um, you know, uh, turn on a some a water in the in the RV so that you get the water pressure off of the line. And then on this one they made a drain, so I can go ahead and I'll, and you can usually sometimes it takes two hands, but there's uh, those drain um, valves there. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that like that, get that water drained out. And that one drained out. Oh my god. That way you don't have that water <laughs> draining in your uh, RV. And then right here is uh, your... I'll get back and get a better picture. That there is your drain for your water heater. And your anode, anode rod is also in there. So you'll want to uh, check that every once in a while. Make sure that it's uh, not more than half gone once it's you know if it gets all the way gone you can cause some damage to your water heater so you want to check that once in a while here's where I disconnected the uh, propane uh, line from there and then that is your pressure relief valve um, for me I since Suburban's providing the uh, new hot water tank I'm going ahead and, and uh, it's a complete kit, I guess, so there should be a new uh, pressure relief valve and new uh, anode uh, rod in there. So if not, I was going to replace it, just so you know. Um, I, I would do that. So I think I have everything disconnected inside. I'm going to go ahead and pull it on out. It's basically you just want to disconnect the water lines, the gas lines like I did. Um, the electrical they made long enough once again to pull that out So I'm going to try to do it in one shot <laughs> for the for the viewers Okay, you can see it here. It's coming Let's see the other side Some wires here there you go all right there you go so that you have to unplug the electrical part of it inside which I did and then as you can see uh, the wires let me see all you can't see this here turn. see how the wires are long enough to pull it out of there and then I've got the water sitting up on some paper towels so ready to go in with my new one and then this is supports it keeps it off of those gas propane lines coming in but uh, there you go it's out and uh, we're gonna be gonna be sticking in a new one soon so this is what it looks like without the water heater inside and next you'll have the furnace right next to it and so this line here goes to the water heater and the line next to it goes to the uh, furnace that their outlet is for the plug-in on the hot water heater and uh, there's another uh, thing that you plug in some of these other wires in there, but uh, I'll show you that later, hopefully. Oh, before I forget, so you could see the cold water attachment and the hot water attachment right there.
Here's a new one installed. So there we go. Hot water heater is all fixed and ready to go.